something that his coaches are happy about. Here we go. It's the best bet you can make in Las Vegas. If the bull goes left, the air rides. And not just rides, dominated. We see JRV ride a lot of bulls, but I saw that foot come up a little, a little higher than normal on this one. It's almost like, like he knows. He knows this is different. He does. He's been in this position before. He knows what's on the line. And the thing that I like about what Cody Lambert constantly does is putting him in the number one position is his job as a coach and how he feels is he just to set his team up for success and by setting this man up for success the whole team just follows brady olison has written the last three those were in fort worth Cowtown Throwdown tried to do just that with a quick direction change out the gate, but Olison, he finally got to where he wanted to be and makes it through the whistle. And he was make, fighting. And make no mistake, exactly right, Kate. The most rideable bull on paper, but that was not easy. He had to try. Just put himself in a few bad positions, but what I liked about it is he never quit trying the whole time, kept his chin down, and refused to let go. Was it perfect? No, but a score is all you need. 84 and a half is Webb and the rest of the U.S. Border Patrol protection team go to work. Look, how good are those guys? We talked about Cody Webster. He's in there with Nathan Harp, Lucas Teodoro, or Austin Ashley, I believe, down there, actually. Now that I say that, I, yeah, there's a great look at Lucas Teodoro, Nathan Harp, and uh, Cody Webster. Yeah, I saw Austin <laughs> in the locker room earlier, Webster. You, you got another guy here just waiting in the wings. That's how much talent we have in this U.S. Border Patrol bullfighting well, team. Well, we, we've got a really, really good team here, guys. A team that's been working together all season long. And, you know, when it comes down to being in some tight, pivotal moments, when it comes to Cowboy protection, you got to have a good team. The teamwork is what makes the dream work. And to have Lucas Teodora, Nathan Harp here, I'll tell you what, it's been clockwise. You seen Lucas step in there and take a pretty hard shot earlier. Got right back up. It's time to keep rolling. These guys got to be protected. We have the lights come down on you inside T-Mobile Arena because we're about halfway through this one. Great Frank, you mentioned the audition. That's what he does. Furlong finds the whistle. Flint, you better go celebrate with him. <laughs> They're going to leave it to him, okay? <laughs> Missouri didn't start this game the way they wanted to, but they ended it the way they intended, and now they've got some kind of momentum to come back in that three-way last chance game. That's exactly right. Did you see the reaction on the buck and shoots? They know they've lost this game. They know this doesn't change anything, but what it just did was raise morale for the rest of the team to realize hey, we've got one more game. We still have a chance. And for all those old fuddy-duddies sitting at home saying there's no momentum, quote-unquote, in bull riding, you're wrong. Momentum is such a big part of what we're doing here in PBR teams, and that just helped get the ball rolling for the Missouri Thunder. Once it starts counting down like this, the judges cannot stop the clock. There's the nod. Let's ride. Jeremiah's just had a take it to him, but he was putting it all on the line, and you thought, okay, Freedom, here we go. Exodus, though, he doesn't care what game it is or who's on his back. Well, one thing we have to talk about in this scenario is when you get put on the clock like that, and then you have to rush your nod, that bull wasn't necessarily looking the proper way. He kind of gets tangled up when he leaves there, and that's what sets up this whole ride for this bull to not have his usual day and kind of travel out through there, and, and that's a hard one to handle. A bit of conversation there with head coach Corey McCoy and Jeremiah's on the dirt. It 
it took a while for Kodiak to go to the left, but it was right into the wheelhouse of Vieira, and the Rattlers are rolling. With age comes patience, and this is a bull ride that's all about patience. As you can see, when this bull travels out through here, just waiting and waiting, and he's expecting him to turn a little quicker than he does, but he just goes out through their patience until he comes to it. Ride or buck off, Vier is one of those guys that always seems to smile when he's walking out on his own two feet, but that look right there, he even knew that that was not a for sure bet. Yeah, there were some times there where things got a little bit dicey. I don't know, like the first couple of jumps out there when we all expected that bull to turn back, but you said it, patience. The veteran just remained calm, followed the path to victory and 84 and a half points for Texas in that one. Let's hope that Casey's back ready to go. Roberts rides him. Every move you need to make, you just saw it in eight seconds. That is, that is a gamer's mentality right there. Forget about anything, just show up in. I mean, absolutely go with an aggressive mindset. And that was the key for Casey Roberts in this one. Take a look at this KM Kim. He had to stay aggressive in every move he made. He did, and that's exactly what it is. It's not always going to be pitcher perfect, but if you put out the try and the determination, and right here, he just refuses to quit and shovels his hips forward in that. That's a really good bull ride. They need that to stay in this game. Oklahoma's not going to make it easy on the Rattlers. I think there's some feelings here. We'll see in spot number four. You put Vassbinder in Vegas, and he rides. Other side of the arena right now used to have him, and they might be wishing they had him back, but that guy right there is happy to have Vassbinder, happy to have another score, and happy to take the lead in this one. I guarantee you there's no better feeling than riding a bull in Vegas, but to top it off, riding one against your former teammates and showing what they lost. 86 and a quarter, and Texas takes the lead back. It's not going to be the biggest score we see here tonight, but it is a big score for Eli in the sense that he does prove that he belongs in a starting lineup, and he's helping his team get the lead right now. We, it's, this is a good game so far. It, it could still go anybody's anybody's way. Cord McCoy's sitting there wondering, well, what might have been they had Vassbinder here in Vegas. Gets them the win here, but Daniel Keeping wants to make it three tonight. Keeping comes down again. And Webb, did I catch that right? Did he just go through your legs as you were also trying to uh, keep smooth steel? I thought we were getting run over, boys. Okay, <laughs> that's as close as you can get without Ooh. getting burned. <laughs> I'm all the way up here at the broadcast desk, and it felt oh, too close, Webb. That is way too close, Kate. But, you know, when them, get, when them guys come off on the inside of the well right there, a little bullfight in one-on-one is the fact you have to cross their face. Luckily, he didn't want us. Wow. I said MVP one night ago. <laughs> now we're just adding highlights to are Webb's you MVP reel. Are me? This is, it's ridiculous how good these guys are. It's, it, What's crazy is he's still, next to Kate, the best broadcaster we have on this whole team as well. I mean, the guy's just, he's too good for his own good. You can get the jump start on the other team. He's perfect in Las Vegas. Woo! Off to the side, but that's after the ride. We've got a qualified one for Arizona. This. But it's being reviewed for time. Did it look like he could have grabbed for that rope early? On bull rides like this, I get so caught up in, in all the great corrections he's made in the second and third efforts that I didn't see it, but it's going to be close. Okay. Now you got another view of it right here. Oh. 
Stop it. Right wow. There. Stop it. Forward. Scott, take us to the mentality of a okay, bull rider. Right he was right riding there. gangster That's time no all score. day long. Seven, seven, oh, no score. You know, in, in bull riding, you have this internal clock, and the trouble is in, in certain scenarios, in high pressure situations, the bigger stages, you can actually, that clock gets a, just a touch off. Oh, no. And on the other sideline, they're watching jump for jump. Here's a look at Texas coach Cody Lambert. Yeah, and he, he's as surprised as anybody in this arena because Chase Doherty was putting together an incredible bull ride. That was a tone setter for his team. Wow. And, you know, to have that team aspect and everything, the momentum that they have rolling in here, uh, it, it's going to do nothing but help these guys. That is the first time a pair seater has come down in PBR team's playoffs. And instantly, Arizona finds themselves backs against the wall because Texas still has all five of their outs remaining. I got to tell you, if you would have told me that Arizona would be 0 for 2 to start this game, I would have laughed at you and, and said you were out of your mind. Especially the way that first one happened with Chase just making a mental error and reaching down and then Eduardo coming down early on this bull. I just did not see this happening. And, and that's a big part of the Rattlers key to success is learning from their leader. It's a flawless eight from Fielder. Texas is on the board first. You can smile, Cody. Maybe a little. No, not we're gonna yet. We're going to wait. Not yet. Four more outs, then we're smiling there a little go. bit. There you go. This game is far from over. You're not getting a smile from Lambert just yet. Brady does such a good job as he doesn't make this bull look as small as he is. This bull is actually built very small, and Brady's got long legs and is a taller guy. He does an incredible job of drawing his legs up and keeping his knees forward and in that bull so it doesn't get him rocking and rolling. It's an 86 and three quarters. Texas is on the board early in this one in a game no one scripted the beginning of. We can only imagine how it's going to end. What are you doing? He's been pushing this team. He makes it! Texas just moved two full bulls ahead in this one. They've got all the momentum. Look at his team now, his team. There's the smile, I told Cody you Lambert. It was coming. He felt a little bit better now with a two bull lead on the other team. And of course, JRV's got a smile on his face. And how can't you smile after a ride like this? This is what we've come to expect from him. It's just time after time after time. For well over 20 years, this guy has put together ride after ride after ride just like this. How old did you say? How many years? I said well over 20 years. Because the next to not on the other sideline wasn't even born 20 years ago. <laughs> He's inside, he hangs on. That clock though stops at six and then you hear the buzzer ride as he hits the dirt. Is anything about this? Okay, it is official review. Scott, can anything in here turn into a qualified ride? This is, I'm gonna say no because what happened here is he just got excited and got to what we call overriding the bull. This bull's just turning back to the left into his hand and all of a sudden, he just gets right in there, there a little bit, and Back he just can't right get there. out of there. Go he just ahead. needed to loosen up and move, but that's easy to say it's a hard move to make in bull riding. But again, let's talk about building forward. Look at the way he continues to try to dig himself out of that hole. And that's the thing is, Right here. As a coach in this situation, oh, yeah. when everything's on the Back line, this is what you ask of your whole team, is okay. to put forth everything you've got. At this point, Vitor, he knows he's made mistakes. He knows he's put himself in a compromising situation, and it's going the wrong direction. What does he do? Keeps fighting. And I can take a lot of positive away from that. 
and with that being said, back, back I mentioned that I don't think there's a chance he didn't slap him. I'm not watching this review, and as we watch it a little bit more, there's a chance. Can't see it from there, oh, guys. Coach Cole Yates one. and company sure hopes you're right, Scott. Well, I mean, this is this is what's cool about this, guys, is because okay. now twice this week we've seen something like this. We talked about Chase Doherty. We highlighted that earlier. Uh, now seeing it with Vitor. Oh, yeah. Well, hold on. I, I can't call the slap. Back it up, Sean. But he is bucked off at right there at 771. It's no score. So we've seen an early buck off, a complete surprise from a pair of Sidhu, and a mental error from Doherty that have resulted in three buck offs for Arizona. Guys, that's two of them that stopped at 7.7. .7. But I, I love this kid. I've known this kid since he was about three or four years old. He. Oh. 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 Slung to the side like a saucer and then takes a hit on his back. U.S. Border Patrol protection team still going to work. Webb was looking back to make sure Harris was on his feet. And that's game. Texas is moving on to the title game and taking on Austin. Now it's okay, Cody Lambert. Somebody, Flint, you can tell him it's okay to smile now. Hey, uh, they want, want you to know it's okay to smile now. I think they're unaware how much you actually smile. This is fun for you. Uh, you've got to love your guys today. Yeah, I love this team, and, and, and this is my dream job. So, so I, I'm trying to be happy on the inside. <laughs> You're happy, happy when you win. And you're sad when you lose. Hey, you did good uh, keeping Joao Ricardo Vieta on that re-ride. You looked like a genius. That bull fit him perfect. Well, sometimes you get lucky. <laughs> Congrats. No luck here, but all effort from the workmen of Texas. So the Rattlers roll on to the championship game. The Castro's got a nod. DeCastro comes down just shy of three. Mr. Nasty sending him sailing. We could talk about the ride or the buck off, but I want to talk about what you saw just a moment ago. You saw Lucas Teodoro wearing the goggles here today. Last night, Cody Webster highlighted. We could talk about the ride or the buck off, but I want to talk about what you saw just a moment ago. You saw Lucas Teodoro wearing the goggles here today. Last night, Cody Webster highlighted. He had a big rock hit him in the eyeball and had that eye heavily bandaged. I don't know, Cody Webster, if you can hear me down there. How is the pulse of everybody in the locker room? You, you with the ankle, Lucas with the eye. How are you guys feeling today coming into this Sunday? Well, about like you can imagine, Matt West. Uh, you know, it's been a lot of bulls <laughs> over the, the course of the last three days. And, you know, there's that little bit extra vibe when these guys make it to Las Vegas. They're really going to try just that little bit harder, going a little bit further. And when you mix all that in, Matt, that's when you get the recipe for a really good wreck, you know. And, and these bulls are really bucking. These bulls have been selected and qualified to get here just like these riders have. And, you know, it's the same way. These bulls roll into Sin City. They know what's on stake. They can feel the, the atmosphere, the fans, everybody that's involved. Uh, you know, we've got to step up and take care of business, whether we're tired, sore, or not. And I'm just glad Lucas Teodoro still got an eye to look out of. We're all glad that you're down on the dirt and so thankful you do the job you do. Cody Jesus getting close to nodding here. This game already won, but Jesus wants to make a statement. Oh, comes down, gets hung up and stepped on. The game was already won. You got to think, should he have had Jesus still get on that bull? And will he be healthy enough to come back in the title game? Well, that's the thing that Cody Lambert always talks about is the depth in his locker room, and he's got them other guys, and he still wanted this ride for him. And should he have put him on him? Absolutely. But this is what Webb's always talking about, is these guys putting forth this second and third effort. The ropes are maybe a little stickier here in Vegas than other places just because they want every advantage to try to stay on every time. Coach Cody Lambert right there with Sports Med. He'll want to know if Cody Jesus is feeling okay to get on another one because guess what our stage is set and michael gaffney of course austin coming in with the number one spot coming into this championship weekend they're going to get the first pick in this draft so coach is it going to be pin a or pin b it's down here at pin b 
All right, we're going to go with pin two. What about uh, who's going to get on Mike's motive? Mike's motive is going to be Rafael Dos Santos. What about Sugar Smack? Sugar Smack is going to be our two-time world champion, Jose Vitor Leme. What about uh, Rock With It? That's Dalton Castle. Dalton Castle takes that. How about the bull Skippy? Skippy will be Lucas Davino. And finally, Short Circuit. Ramon DeLima. Ramon DeLima will get on that. So that will leave Mr. Lambert. That'll leave you with pin number one. Who's going to get on Tijuana two-step? Uh, Cody Jesus. He's back in sports medicine right now, and he told me he can go, but we're going to have to check. All right. We'll see how that works out. Outlaw? Uh, Joao Ricardo Vieira. Uh, all hell. Brady Fielder. Brady Fielder. What about the bull called Hunter? Brady Olson. Brady Olson. And finally, Red River. Daniel Keeping. Daniel Keeping. All right. Lambert, you got anything to say to the number one Austin Gamblers? Uh, no, I've, I've watched Michael for a long time, and it's fitting that he's uh, in the lead because if he was riding tonight, I'd be scared. <laughs> Folks, how about it? It's going to be a Texas shootout in this championship game today in Las Vegas. Back to you guys. Well, Cody Lambert, safe to say, not scared of competition. And if they were in a riding contest, maybe he would be. But he's very confident in his team as he has been all season long. Let's take a look at the starting lineups now for that championship game. We will see in just a little bit. The Texas Rattlers choosing to go with their veteran JRV in that number one spot and then filling it out with a ton of talent. Absolutely, and they pick these bulls exactly the way they think these guys will match up to them. They've got incredible bulls, and the set of bulls they put together for both teams, I think this is a set of bulls that they are going to ride four if we don't see a team ride five. For the regular season champs, the lineup looks very similar to the way it has all season long. But the vibe is a little looser in that locker room. They have made their way to the championship game. Can the Austin Gamblers take home the title more when we come back to T-Mobile Arena. JRV is an accomplished veteran. It doesn't matter. He's not one-dimensional. Can he get it done? He goes left and Vieira rides. Texas strikes first. Here we go, guys. Cody Webster said it. These are the moments. These are the environments that makes us be a fan. And in the title game, we start out swinging. The youngest 39-year-old in the sport comes up big. When we talk about 39 years old, these are the moments that guys like this absolutely live for. These are the reasons they keep riding bulls. They keep putting their hand in because they love riding bulls, but they love being rising to the occasion and being in this position. Bull he rode back in January. Castle comes down. And just about takes a shot from Rock with it on the way out. This is a bull. That it seemed for three seconds, and Castle snapped it. He was there. What happens at four? Right from the shoot, actually, Kate, I'm going to back you up, is Dalton. I gave him too many seconds. Is, Dalton is just in an uncomfortable place right now with his bull riding. Everything about it, he's just trying to fight. He's trying to make things happen that aren't there. When we see the Dalton Castle that we're used to seeing and putting up big numbers, everything is fluent and just easy for him. He has, though, built his career on making moves that just don't seem possible. Yeah, and, and the, the major move that he didn't make there was leaving the shoot with that bull. I mean, he was so far behind from the word go. That is not the Dalton, and I almost think that this buck off streak is starting to affect him mentally. And in this sport, you can't. And not let that happen. Post a qualified ride in the semifinals, and that got them to this game. Now he's aboard on hell. It's a rematch. And Fielder finds the whistle. Doubles down on all hell in Texas. Puts two up. Look at Lambert. He's fighting that smile. He told us internally he's the happiest guy in the building when his guys are doing this. Well, he's got two reasons to smile now. Joao Ricardo Vieta, 
Brady Fielder, both guys that are very close to their leader, both guys that have punched their ticket to an eight-second ride here today in this championship game. Fielder has tripled his production from a season to go, and for Coach Cody Lambert, the future is looking bright for Fielder. Forget about the future. Let's talk about right now. Well, you just got to be excited with the trajectory he's on. Absolutely. It is, and we can talk about this ride all night long and how perfect it was oh. and everything. It's the situation, it's where we're at that makes this ride so great. The situation was filled with celebrating and all hell was still making his way around the arena. Ooh, the chaos does not stop after the ride. 87 and a quarter for Fielder. They take a commanding lead in this game. You want to talk about the future being bright? Nothing in this town brighter than the buckle that says PBR team's champion. He said this guy deserves it. Deserves a big one. Oh, got forward. Got back up though. And got to the finish line. The gamblers needed it, and Dos Santos does it. You gotta love this. You, you see the way that Michael Gaffney kind of beams when he talks about Rafael Dos Santos. We've talked about them acquiring him for free agency, but let's talk about how good this guy is. Jose Vitor Lemmy was right. He's right, and what you can see is how confidence affects a guy. He is so confident getting on this. Right here, he gets in a little bit of trouble. If he is not confident and doubts himself, he gets bucked off. But he's like, no, I know I can do this. And he just ends the ride in a perfect position. And that is all 100% because of confidence he has in himself and the confidence the team has in him. Guess what the score is? This only happens in Vegas. 89 and a half for the third time. <laughs> half the score coming from the bovine athlete, half from the rider. And they've combined for the same score three times in a row. That's exactly what they needed. A lot of people are going to be hitting the roulette tables. If I'm the Austin Gamblers, I'm betting on 89 and a half green. Give me a couple of more before we leave town. But when that gate opens, it's all great. was giving it everything he had and because of that took quite a hit straight to the dirt. That is the bull riding version of a Hail Mary right there. You saw that free arm just going uh, everywhere he could possibly get it, trying to get in position and stay in the center of that bull. And I've said this time and time again, with high risk equals high reward, but with high risk, and you don't get the reward, it's going to hurt. When a bull's bucking that hard, spinning that fast, and you get just a little bit behind, you can see his chin comes up, and he just keeps fighting. Big moves over his head trying to get there. And he is making it there until all the pressure that that bull is handing out comes to his riding hand. His hand pops out of the rope, and you fly out, and you end up in a dismount like that. That one's hurt. Brady missed much of last PBR team season, some of this season, because of a back injury, a neck injury, a leg injury. He's becoming a new Iron Man in the sport, and so tough, and you see it there. Yeah, so he, he's kind of erased all of that negativity. He's riding a hot streak. You can't get any closer than this. Davino is dialed in when it matters most. Is it enough, though, to take the lead? It's not going to be enough to take the lead, in my opinion, but it is going to be enough to keep it close. And it'll be it'll be really close to see if the numbers are there. But the important thing is they've got another score on the board. You're right. It's 86, still trailing, but within striking distance. They're within a point now. They're within a, a ride. That's all they need, and we've talked about it. If you can keep it close and get it down to Lemmy, he can get you the extra numbers. It is, and the score almost right now is irrelevant. It's keeping pace yeah. because Austin yeah. is in the driver's seat if they've rode the same amount of bulls when it comes to Lemmy because he has a magical way of getting huge numbers from bulls. His style is just so flashy. He can dominate, it, and they'll get rewarded for that dominance if... They keep it close. The eyebrows call that his celebration dance. We haven't gotten to see that in a while from Davino. <laughs> 
Don't leave it up to Lemmy if you're Texas. Put a ride on and make him get a big score. Cody comes alive. I'm going to say it again. Wow. Wow. What a game. You know, all season long, we hope for games like this. And now you get to the final game of the season. It's all about the buckle, this championship run, and it is punch, counter punch the whole way. 88 and three quarters, it's big enough to really put the pressure on. Let's put it this way. I have been around bull riding my whole life and when I am standing up here jumping, diving around, <laughs> we know this is exceptional. Hey, I'm a steer wrestler and I'm doing the same thing, jumping on the back of these bucket shoes. We're gonna talk about some fun. These guys are getting after it tonight. These teams have fought all season. You don't stop the fight in the title game. Just hit the biggest jackpot in Las Vegas. And the biggest celebration we've seen from Cody Lambert ever. He's clapping and smiling. And let the celebration begin. It was two Texas teams battling it out, but they are the lone stars shining deep in the heart of Las Vegas. And how fitting that Daniel Keeping is the guy to seal the deal. After the storybook run a year ago for Lambert to put him in to get him the W. It has not been his season. He has not had a qualified ride in a month, but his coach believed in him in the most pivotal position and it paid off. And everybody questioned exactly what Cody was doing here. Well, everybody knows now he knew exactly what he was doing. What a great team of bull riders through and through the Texas Rattlers are. Texas, your 2023 PBR Camping World Team Series champions. To put up the numbers in the history books the way he has, you're watching greatness unfold eight seconds at a time. was focused. He would not leave Las Vegas without a qualified ride. But he had to have help to take it home. You see Coach Michael Gaffney, his team. This team means everything to him. He has tried to carry him through the entire season. He gave it everything he had. And no matter who you were cheering for coming into this one, you appreciate the campaign he's put together. It doesn't. It, that's what a true competitor Jose is right there in the fact that he's a quarter point off of a 90 and he is the most disappointed person in Las Vegas right now. Beautiful Montana Silversmith buckle put in place. And that place is with the new owners, the Texas Rattlers, as we welcome in the commissioner of PBR team, Sean Gleason. Sean, what an incredible season. And to cap it off, what a fantastic weekend. Absolutely. I've got to give it to these guys, um, all of the teams and all of the riders. We can't do this without them. We can't do them without our stock contractors. Um, to see them gridded out all season long and come down to one ride at the championship, two Texas teams, the old man, Joao. Um, you know, I, when we dreamed up this concept of PBR teams, we had a lot of hope. And in the last two seasons, we've seen those hopes come to life. And it's because of all of these great guys that just gritted out. Um, they ride at a, at a higher level for themselves as well as their teams and their coaches and their owners. I can't thank everybody enough, especially the PBR team that works really hard to bring this to the fans. And I can't thank you, the greatest fans in the world, for embracing a new sports concept and making it the most successful league launch in history. Thank you. Capped it off with an incredible weekend. I'm going to bring up Cody Lambert really quick. Cody, 
It has been a hard-fought season. You've, you've stuck with your same philosophy week in and week out. But ultimately, you told us every single time we talk to you, it's a lot more fun when you win. Well, congratulations because you guys won it all. Well, thank you. And it, it's just it's so exciting. I, I uh, got the right group of guys. We got humble young men that believe in it and they love. They ride for the love of the game. They're going to get paid well for it too. But we talk about that and we talk about the example they are for the other bull riders. You don't have to be the guy that has the biggest end zone dance celebration or beat your chest or anything. The bull riding speaks for itself. And these guys love to ride and they got it done. We used all eight of them here. And that's why we brought these eight guys. I know you're so proud of your team. You're proud of the, the office, the management team, and everything. When you look back, when this entire organization was started, you and those other guys that created the PBR and were a part of history, do you feel like we're at another milestone and another historical part of the PBR? Yes, I have said it before. I think this is like when we started the PBR, uh, that was actually, uh, obviously the big moment, but, but the start of teams and... and uh, the competition that we have and, and the way it gave fans a new way to follow a great sport. Bull riding was a great sport before we got here, but we made sure we didn't mess it up. Well, he was a great bull rider before he got here, but he became a superstar during PBR teams. Talking about Daniel Key being capped it off with a huge ride here today. Last season was somewhat of a coming out party for you. The entire world took notice with what you were able to accomplish. But to be able to come into T-Mobile Arena today and seal the victory for you and your team and win this title, can you put that into words? Uh, I just want to thank God, first of all, give us the opportunity to be above fresh dirt every day. Then uh, the coaches and the team accepted me and our owners let me have an opportunity, first of all, to come to this stage. And just, it's a great feeling when you got, I mean, heck, you got Joel, Eli, Bray Olson, you got some of the best influencers behind you pushing you, so there's no wrong there. You got some of the toughest guys in all of the sport, and one of them is right behind you, Joel Ricardo Vieta, a guy that has been so close to an individual world title so many times. But immediately, when PBR Teams was launched on draft day of last year, Cody Lambert had two guys that he wanted to be a part of the fabric of this franchise, Cody Jesus and Joel Ricardo Vieta. Now, at 39 years young, he has called you the youngest 39-year-old in the history of bull riding. You now are a world champion. How good does this feel? It's so fantastic, no? You need to believe it all the times. And I learned a lot with Cody Lambert, and thank you for this team. Support me and support all these guys here. And I love this, and I'm trying too hard many times for the world champion this to today. You got it today, champ. One of the greatest honors in my life is to be able to say this. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2023 PBR Camping World Team Series champions, the Texas Rattlers. The Rattlers ride. They've done it all season. They're durable, they're workmanlike, they show up, they do their job, but it's not just a team, it is a family that Coach Cody Lambert could not be more proud of. They're your champs. These riders have worked their entire season, their entire careers for the celebration that is happening on the stage right now. Texas wins it all in the second ever season of PBR teams. And when you do, you're in Vegas, Scott. You pop the champagne, you hold up the giant gold buckle, and you soak it all in. Now it's a party in Las Vegas. <laughs> Back up here at the tractor supply desk, all of a sudden I feel like we're just the boring ones that Coach Cody Lambert's been talking about all season. <laughs> That's right, but 
What an incredible season. The, the few things that I've learned from this is it's incredible that not one guy can win this world championship like in past what we're used to in bull riding. The team's format is so unique and it's proven and the Texas Rattlers proved the best team wins, not necessarily one superstar. Lambert believes in Ole. Ole have made an impact all season. Six got the job done here. One put Lemmy in a position where his ride did not even matter. That was Daniel keeping to get the win, and it was his best score of the entire season, 90 and a half aboard Red River. And not only is this an outstanding ride for a huge score, but what's so impressive is when it needed to happen, he dug deep and found a way, you know, not always having the best history, you know, on a little bit of a slow streak, and then step up and answer like that. That is exceptional to me. Texas was a favorite at the beginning of the season. They were the only team rather to win their homestand twice. They had the momentum at the end of the season and it paid off here. And wow, what a run it was. And it sure was fun calling it all season long. It was, I had so much fun. And I've learned another thing that anything can happen in bull ride. The curtain comes down on 2023 team series, but the 2024 Unleash the Beast season, that is only a few weeks away. We're bringing you bull riding for the rest of the year and more. It's on the road with eBay Motors. We're kicking off for the next World Championship campaign in Unleash the Beast, November 10th and 11th, just across the desert in Tucson, Arizona. Then four different weekends through December, we are heading to the east, maybe hitting a little weather and doing a whole lot of bull riding to keep it heated up along the way. Texas started with one mission. Follow your passion. Do what you love. Be a bull rider that dreams big. Coach Cody Lambert instilled that belief in his team from week one in Cheyenne. Here we are in Las Vegas, and that belief just became a dream that the entire team is living. And you do not have to wait long for more bull riding competition. Our PBR Unleash the Beast season begins in just a few weeks, November 10th and 11th in Tucson, Arizona. For Matt, Scott, Flint, Luke, Cody, and our entire crew all season long, I'm Kate Harrison, and congratulations to the 2023 PBR Camping World Team Series champions, the Texas Rattlers. What a ride.